hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel first of all subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon for more updated videos i have uploaded a lot of videos for you but uh, uh, i am receiving a lot of comments related to uh, heat load calculation of uh, clean rooms and hospitals so today we will discuss uh, how to calculate the heat load uh, for clean rooms and uh, hospitals so I am using uh, this uh, one of my project that I am working on it uh, that is the ground floor of pharmaceutical uh, company that is the uh, injectable new injectable facility in this you can see there are a lot of uh, spaces that is uh, while washing area, sterilization room, uh, these UNC are untreated uh, or uncontrolled uh, rooms where uh, like uh, ISO uh, are not applied. These are simple air conditioned rooms and these rooms are uh, pressurized rooms. In this you can see this is sterilization room which is uh, ISO 7 how we know that it is I ISO 7 so uh, it depends upon its particle size we just uh, uh, do some testing DOP testing to calculate the particle size then we just suggest that uh, this is the ISO 7 so for ISO 7 we have different number of uh, air changes that is uh, air changes per hour for ISO 5 to 6 we have 150 to 400 or 60 to 100 for I ISO 6 it is 60 to 100 these are different spaces we have in this trying powder filling room 1 offloading area <coughs> tools exit material exit these are uh, different uh, ISO classes from ISO 5 to ISO 8 so uh, for ISO 8 there are uh, different ACH that we have selected for our project. Uh, from here we will start from powder filling room 1 that is in the zone 1 on ground floor powder filling room 1. So this is the powder filling room 1 which is the ISO 5 and ISO 6. In this you can see the arrow is just pointed toward the tool exit. It means that the powder filling uh, room is pressurized as compared to tools exit and offloading area and also ISO 6 because we do not want any contaminant to uh, flow toward this area that is powder, fil uh, powder filling room uh, so these rooms are at a different uh, pressure differential you can see the arrows arrows show the uh, flow of air flow toward the uh, different areas so we will start from powder filling room I have already uh, calculated this in zone 1 here you can see the uh, powder filling room 1 so we will start from here uh, in background we have just selected the weather data for Pakistan Islamabad that is the latitude, longitude, elevation. This is not included in a uh, HAP. I have just manually put all the data in these de design parameters. So, second one is the space that is the powder filling room one. For this, you have to just uh, uh, name it and then calculate the floor area. What is the floor area? Floor area is basically the 90, 19.10. Uh, that is 19 feet and 10 inches by 16 inches so which is the uh, around about 320 square feet and for outdoor ventilation requirement just like the miscellaneous pharmacy preparation area which is the 5 CFM per person for internals we have already um, calculated the load for these uh, spaces like we are using uh, 24 watt uh, light that is the number of lights are 12 so 12 multiplied by 24 which is around about uh, 288 288 watts of light load 
and <clears throat> there is no uh, other load and uh, for electrical equipment you can use electrical equipment load here in watts if you have any uh, load like uh, and fuel filling machine and other uh, filling machines uh, so you can put it here just put the number of people here and uh, for the schedule you can just select the hourly profile hourly profile is basically the uh, running uh, condition of uh, air condition so the air condition is running 24 hours so i just select the uh, all all of them on 200 percent like if uh, your uh, company is running from 9 to 5 so you can just put it down make it 0 percent and from 9 to 5 make it 100 percent and just click ok so <coughs> i'm using 100 percent for all time because the air condition uh, these are the air conditioned spaces which will be uh, working uh, 24 hours and second thing is select the wall in my case uh, I have just uh, uh, consider this wall is uh, exposed because the, uh, the material exit area uh, wall is also exposed so I have just uh, uh, consider one wall is exposed to the uh, outside uh, in some cases and worst case scenario if this uh, material exist is uh, not uh, uh, air condition so this uh, wall will be exposed if in your case if you are there is no wall ex exposed so you just uh, uh, may, uh, don't select any wall uh, for exposure so <coughs> in second thing if it's a uh, first floor and there is a roof you can select uh, roof but in this case this ground floor there is a condition space above this so just select not used for infiltration I am using 0 0.35 ACH for infiltration for floor uh, above the uh, the floor above this ground floor is condition space so I just select this one if it's first floor then select floor above unconditioned space and put the uh, outside temperature and I um, select the wall partition the uh, these walls are the wall partition and the uh, temperature uh, against these walls are same here and here temperature are same so these both are condition spaces so just click on it and press ok after adding these all uh, uh, the data of the spaces then go for a system in system you have to do first that is zone component select all spaces and add it in this zone component i just give it a name zone 1 iso 6 these all are iso 6 rooms I iso 6 spaces in thermostat uh, schedule you can just select the thermostat set point in my case it's 22 plus minus 2 which is uh, round about in Fahrenheit that is 71.6 so uh, for thermostat schedule I am using 100% because the load will be 100% 24 hours it's working for 24 hours so I just select the profile that is on 100% uh, occupied from uh, 24 hours from 0 to uh, 24 so just press ok and the main part of this uh, this calculation is supply terminals for supply terminals all zones these are ISO 6 zone so we are using for ISO 6 that is 6200 ACH for this you have just put and just select the ACH and put 60 here this is the main part of the uh, design uh, it's uh, same for hospital and same for pharmacies and also for uh, other uh, clean rooms so just press it ok if you have any zone heating uh, unit you can consider this but in my case there is no zone heating unit and after this you will just select the ventilation size method that is ASHRAE 62.1 2010 and if there is any damper leak rate you can just put it here if, if there is no your 
uh, you are sure that your damper have no leak rate so just put it zero and second thing is uh, more important in uh, clean rooms and hospital that is dehumidification in this case we are using 35 percent of relative humidity 35 we need to maintain 35 percent relative humidity so uh, you have just put this dehumidification and put the value which you want to maintain in your uh, area in like you can see it is 35 60 different for different uh, classes uh, uh, you can watch my video for uh, uh, clean rooms in which I have defined uh, different ACH for different uh, classes of uh, clean rooms for ISO and different other uh, international standards. Uh, in this uh, central cooling, you are just like the cooling source in, in my case, this is the chilled water. I am using the chilled water uh, for cooling. If you are using the uh, condensing unit, you can just uh, select from uh, uh, from here you can just select equipment type here if you are using a split air handling unit that is the uh, you can say uh, condensing unit but in my case I am using a chill water air handling unit so I just click, click this one and these are the main parts of uh, uh, clean rooms and hospital uh, calculation just press it ok after this click on the load I can show you the load that is 36.5 ton uh, remember this uh, in pharmacy the load is very high because of the high ACH rates so this is small area but the load is you can see is 36.5 tons uh, and uh, uh, it calculate the uh, flow rate for AHU that is the 87.72 water flow rate and coil load coil CFM and int entering that is the uh, off coil and on coil uh, temperature dry bulb and well blood that is 73.2 45.8 the air will uh, enter uh, sorry the water will enter at uh, some temperature and leave uh, the uh, other side at some different temperatures the air will enter at some uh, temperature and with out with uh, outlet temperature will be different and you can see there is the uh, CFM per person that is 15.68 CFM per person total uh, for building and uh, the load is calculated for separate uh, spaces so I have just uh, uh, mentioned the powder filling. So the powder filling is 6.3 MBH mega BTU per hour uh, in June of uh, and this uh, time. So airflow is 3364 CFM which is uh, high you can see because of the high ACH rate. And uh, these are the different parameters you can check the uh, file window uh, uh, area and its uh, load and planium load and different type of loads are defined here and this is central cooling coil outlet temperature inlet temperature supply fan outlet and zone air return planum these are, are defined you can just uh, uh, take uh, these data and make a equipment schedule and uh, you can select your equipment from here it's uh, uh, very um, uh, useful uh, software for the calculation here uh, this is the psychometric uh, chart for uh, the uh, calculation in is uh, show the specific humidity at uh, different uh, temperatures uh, thank you for watching my video if you have any comments you can uh, ask me anytime and keep watching my video and comment on uh, different videos and keep sharing Please, uh, I am uh, doing this for you, all people. Thank you.